When New York's World Trade Center was attacked on Osama bin Laden's orders 10 years ago, Mayor Rudy Giuliani led the city's response and recovery during the critical days and weeks after 9-11. He joins us now to discuss the death of Osama bin Laden and what it means to the ongoing fight against terror. Mr. Mayor, good morning. Good, good morning. to see you here this morning. Um, as a former mayor, you have led this city, obviously, through its darkest days. What was your reaction yesterday when you found out the news? Well, my reaction was one of very deep satisfaction, relief that, um, that we had finally gotten him certain amount of sense of revenge, which you don't like to admit to, but it's there. Yeah. You know, just this guy really deserved what he got. And then, and then uh, after that, after reflecting on it, you know, realizing that there's some short-term danger for us because of the, of the kind of emotional hold that he had on the people that, uh, that followed him. Long-term, this is a, an all-positive development for it, meaning I think this will help us be safer. But short-term, we're going to go through a period where we're going to have to be very careful now. Yeah. I know you said that there's no, no such thing as closure, and something like this doesn't bring back those 3,000 lives lost on that day. But from an emotional standpoint, from a personal standpoint, because you were so connected to this, did it take a little time to sink in when you did first hear the news? Yes. Yes. And there's no such thing as closure because when you lose somebody that you love uh, the rest of your life, that, the gap is there. But there are things that help, and this helps. I mean, there's no question that bringing to justice the person who is primarily responsible for it satisfies just a basic human need yeah. that goes on in a time of mourning. So this is a big step. It's not a small step. Yeah. It's a big step in the war against terror, too. Yeah. The people of New York yesterday, and I'm sure you saw the response, <laughs> yeah. uh, the celebrations <laughs> right. in the streets, not only here in New York, but around the nation, but specifically here in New York. The firefighters were out in full force. I was at Ground Zero yesterday right. speaking with a number of the iron workers, and they said, you know what, for the first time in a while, it smiles all around right. on a Monday. Yeah. It almost felt like a new day. Can, can you sense well, the sure, impact you can, that it's had because, on the people? Because something uh, positive has now happened. This has been pretty much very, very negative. Yeah. The defense has been terrific, meaning, meaning our military and President Bush and President Obama have done a good job of defending us. But we haven't had uh, this kind of positive thing in, qu in quite some time. So I think that was a, a sense of real relief from that. Only thing I would caution is we shouldn't celebrate too much. Yeah. This is um, just a step and a big one. But this war is still going on. We shouldn't fool ourselves into thinking we, this is like VE Day or VJ yeah. Day. We haven't won this war yet. And I don't like this talk about pulling out of Afghanistan or pulling out of Iraq. America makes this mistake a lot. Yeah. People make it. You know, you, you win part of it, and then you walk away, and then it recedes. Well, we're, we're, we've got a, lot, a lot, long way to go in Afghanistan and Pakistan to clean it up, and we should clean it up for our own safety long term. How troubling is it to you that he seemed to be hiding in plain sight very, very, in Pakistan? I mean, very troubling. Not, not shocking. I've been to that part of the world, so I, I have a sense of how it, how it op operates. And, um, what can Met be with done? Karzai a few, a few years ago and discussed the problems in, in, in Pakistan. Uh, so th these are things I've known about for four or five years, the lack of uh, cooperation that at least uh, the Afghanis and, and, and Americans there complain about. With the money we sent to Pakistan, is yeah, there something outrageous. that can be done to say, you know what, this is unacceptable well, finally? It's outrageous that, that uh, he would live, you know, not quite in plain sight, but uh, pretty hard to not figure out that this was a, uh, something having to do with with Osama bin Laden in that part of the world, this big compound, multi-million dollar estate, cars going in and out all the time, strange looking people going in and out all the time. This is a country that keeps track uh, through its secret service, in essence, its secret police. It keeps track of what the heck's going on. Yeah. So I'd have real, real problems with this. This closes a small chapter for you in it, the 9-11? It closes a big chapter. No, you know, it doesn't close it, but it closes a big chapter. The anger about him and the desire to get revenge on him and the, and the desire to show the United States as effective. And I think Americans are very proud of the president's decision, the work that President Bush did to lead up to this, the intelligence services working, and then those brave SEALs that went in and did this. I mean, this is an all plus for everybody yeah. situation. I think this is the kind of thing that makes Americans feel this is the greatest country on earth. Nobody else could have, could have done this. Mayor Giuliani, thank, thank you. you. Good to see you here this morning.